Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can easily create audio visualizers for your videos. All right, it's very easy to get started. We're gonna use Veet's online video editor for this. Simply head over to your browser and type in the URL box v.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we automatically started a new project within Veet and we can instantly get started. You can choose one of the amazing templates or you can start from scratch. I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna click on upload a file and upload the clip I wanna add an audio visualizer to. I'm gonna click on this one and then click on open. And after just a moment, the video is imported into the editor. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast and we can start editing. So we're going to get straight to it. So to add an audio visualizer, head over to elements in the left menu. And as you can see, you can add shapes, emojis, progression bars, callouts, whatever you like, stickers. But obviously we want to add sound waves. And as you can see, you have the sound wave section here. You can scroll to the right or hover to the right a little bit and simply click on view all to see all the audio visualizers. And now all you need to do is click on the style you prefer to add to the video. So let's say this one. And as you can see, my name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast. The audio visualizer is added to the video. Now there are a bunch of things you can do with this audio visualizer. For instance, you can click and drag on one of the sides to resize it. You can click and drag from the middle to move it around or use the rotating option to rotate the audio visualizer. And also in the left menu, as you can see, you can change the color to whatever color you prefer i'm gonna choose let's say red in this case you can change the opacity the control and the duration the decibel control basically means how loud or how soft the audio visualizer will pick up and interpret the audio so basically when you change the threshold you can see it back within the audio visualizer and as i said you can also change the duration which is basically the length of the audio visualizer but if you head over to the bottom timeline you can click and drag on one of the sides to extend or shorten the timing in this case it's not really necessary because i want to have it at full length so i'm just going to drag it back to the left in this case now if you ended up not liking the style you can change the style of the audio visualizer by heading over to the sound wave menu and on the style you can select another one let's say this one now in this case i want to extend the audio visualizer to the edges because i think that looks a little bit cooler so let's have a look let's drag it down there you go let's have a look the animal i will choose to be now some very fun i think that looks cool flying and lastly you can easily add another one simply head back to the sound wave menu and just simply click on the audio visualizer you would like to create i'm going to click and drag this one to the left top and let's have a look 300 feet which is pretty nice amazing. i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and again you can change the opacity you can change the color you can uh, change the control you can change the duration whatever you like and that's it. Now, if you want to export your video, it's very easy. Head over to the right top corner and click on export. Then choose your preferred render settings. I'm going to choose HD and then click on export video. After a moment, the video is rendered. You can watch the video back on the left. One, my name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast. And as you can see, all the audio visualizers are added to the video. Now, if you want to share your video, click on the share button below the video. You can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can send it directly to someone's email. You can directly upload your link to your socials or embed the video onto your website. Or if you want to download your video, simply head over to the download button, click on download MP4 or download GIF, and then it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's how you easily create audio visualizers. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.